White Buddy, Marinello. So interesting suspension set up on this. So much space. Now that the lights are starting to come on, I can give you guys a better look at some of the cars in detail instead of trying to battle with low light. It's more of the Phoenix power cars. Thirty-five GTR. It's got some June stuff on there. Love the badge in the middle. the full livery that I showed you guys yesterday. Some gritty stuff on there, carving. The BBSFIs on there. We'll look at that 32 again. Oh man, everything looks so much better with light. It's the overnight car I showed you guys earlier, the midnight rival. RB26, HKS goodies on there, and a great turbo. during the mic test right now, but here's the Wonder Civic from 5 Mart slash Osaka JDM. Super clean. B series in there. Replica Mew valve cover. I love how they do things here, it's hilarious. This one in particular looks fucking great with the work CRs on there. The paint on this thing. Turn 
has a B16A in it, while the white one has a B18C. Don't let the lady distract you from the fact that this is a real Mugen CRX Pro 2. It looks like it got reburled Mugens on number fives. All the mic testing is being done at the massive Nissan booth, the manufacturer's booth. So, I'm sure Nissan has a lot of pull at this event, so they can shout whatever they want on the microphones, I'm sure. This thing is fucking beautiful. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to attempt to investigate some of these halls before the loyalty free music starts playing. <laughs> or the non loyalty free music. Let's see what this hall's got. This is where the mode booth was last year. Right by work wheels. Hmm, this here looks like Junction Produce is back. Produce demo car in a while. It's a new scar wheel. Quite luxury abstract. One of the main things I'm trying to do this trip is uh, just kind of take it easy, you know, just being on the road so much. And I literally have like three days of the show, so kind of span things out, walk things slowly, do as much vlogging as possible. Obviously, just because it gets too busy, but. We'll see how much we get through today. Oh shit, a new, whole new car. The flat black on gloss black two-tone. These knock-ons probably somewhere around here. We'll run into them this week. You again? Hello, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you again. <laughs> Back in the second. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. Oh shit, here's that Four Laws Porsche that we saw at Tokyo Auto Salon. Because it made its way from Tokyo all the way over here. A really good spot. Beautifully simple car, but one of those cars that when you look closer, you realize just how great it is. I guess that's one of the cool things about coming to Auto Messe, where you do get to see a lot of the same cars you see at Tokyo Auto Salon, but they're rearranged differently, so you either get a better look at them or you just get a better chance to get a better photo of them. Shit. I don't know if you guys remember Rough Rhythm. It used to be green. Now it's been completely repainted with a martini livery on it now. I mean, I gotta say I really like the green, but this is a good look too, especially when you pull off a martini livery and do it correctly. Chiraku's car, 1048 style. Hmm, yeah. This is a good look. 
I'm really gonna miss the green though. Such an iconic RWB build, you know? But I'm sure people will get a kick out of the Martini livery as well. It's a Vloomerin car that was at TAS also. Now I can actually walk around it because it's not stuffed into a booth. So. Another really cool looking car. OG Apple Computers livery. Ball C210 Skyline Coupe. This is our long champs on there. That custom front fender. Over fenders, obviously. Chevlons on there. These are the re-released Chevlons made by Superstar, the company that makes Leon Harder wheels. I guess they decided to re-release the Chevlons last year. So. Very simple setup. It's a Ken Mary, so it already has like a beefy body. You know? so. Added some over fenders. Hako, also from East Ball. They all look the same because they're all from the same company, so. This one also has the re release Chevron wheels on there. So in case you guys are wondering what Nomukin and URS has been up to these days, they're definitely still around. This is their new type RZ demo car. You know, he loves his ER34 sedans. This one has all their accessories. The cool thing about their display is that they actually tell you the stuff that they produce. Like, say, this is the Type RZ front fender. Front under flap or under spoiler, as we call it. Chin spoiler, even. This is the ERS Type RZ headlight covers. Bonnet lip, just a front lip. So good looking car. Paint could be a little bit better, but you know, it's probably one of those things where it's either a race car or it's a last minute thing, so it's understandable. So side diffuser, side under flap. Look how wide it is. In the gas cap section, just look how deep that section is compared to my hand. In true Yasu fashion, the show has started already, but we're still cutting stickers <laughs> in front of the booth. <laughs> Yeah, still need to clean. <laughs> Why is this car so far back? What? Why is it so far back? Oh, yeah. Later. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. No. No? Later? Yeah. Okay. This is the No Good Racing EK4. This car is actually from Tokyo. So I like to call it the Supreme Leader car because, you know, it's Supreme and Captain America. Blinded by the hype. <laughs> Voltex wing is on there now. <laughs> no good 
racing taxi. This is Ryuji's car. This car is actually painted and put together by Yasu. It's an exceed built car. This is Masa still putting stickers on. The car that you saw us pick up from Kyoto last night. Just a few hours ago, this thing was painted. Looking pretty good. Can anybody guess what livery this is based off of? It's kind of obscure, so probably won't recognize it. Just give it a look. If you recognize it, drop a comment. If not, I'm sure I'll understand. It's interesting that they wanted to build a coop because coops are relatively rare out here and in Osaka. People really like them. In the US, can't seem to get rid of them. Um, the doors have finally opened, as you can see. Pretty crowded now. Just eating some lunch real quick. In front of the Mode Parfume table. No good racings right here. There's apparently some sort of evil nun over there. I guess they have... I don't know what Phoenix Power is doing with their motifs, but... It's an evil nun, but a happy nun. Nonetheless, None of my business. I'm just gonna eat my lunch. It's <laughs> oh. the VIP hall. It's tea demand, of course. Your usual booth space. Demand LS500. Seems to be a lady. SSR livery, but they did it in a flat or a matte color. Looks pretty great. Very cool. This is the Garage Active R33 that you guys saw at Tokyo Auto Salon. Not much has changed. They have a new R35 build actually. Mostly suspension work and wheels. Nothing too crazy. Also on T demand suspension. <laughs> so it looks like a one on award at TAS. This does have a Ferrari on TEs too. Let's 
sick. What a great look this is. Again, further adding to the theory that these look great on everything. Body Aristo. Remember the GS I was getting worked on at Garage Excellent in the last few vlogs? Well, here it is in its completed state. Pretty crazy that it's only been a few weeks since we saw that car and it was just in pieces. Completely all cut up and everything. You know, has the Panda Sports and everything on there. And it looks fucking crazy. First day. Apparently, nobody needs to work on Saturdays.
FD. I think I've seen this car a couple times in the last few years, but finally got a better chance to look at the engine bay today. running two GTX Swing finally mounted. Your skin, mm -hmm. squid, fish, <laughs> yo tail, your lobster head. It's gonna be yo tail. Oh, yo tail. Fancy tonight. <laughs> yeah, seafood and a beef. <laughs> oh shit! Where's that guy? <laughs> あ、しっ。あ、もうマリコちゃんの。うん。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ。あ